Hello, in this video we're going over grants, which is a genealogical program that's free and open source. It's uh, originally from Linux, I believe, and is now available on Windows and Mac. So we'll uh, get grants open, and it will be different for depending on the operating system, uh, how you open it or the desktop environment, but in Debian 10 GNOME, which this is, then you go to activities and select it. And then you create a new family tree. And we'll just call it sample. And then uh, open it. Now, this video we're going to go over importing a uh, family tree from another program or from another installation of uh, Gramps. So we have the basic dashboard where it goes over basic information and a welcome screen and all that. What we want right now is to open up a family tree program with the uh, data. So we'll import and I have two different files here. If it's a GD that's the most more common one. This has a sample which has some pictures attached. That's why I'm going with the G package rather than a uh, GED file but it works for any or for many different ones. These are what it recognizes. GEDCOM, Grants Package, and GeneWeb, CSV. I've never used one of those, but anyways. So we'll open this up. It'll take a minute to uh, uh, process it. And it gives you a little summary. And so now we have this uh, tree here. And we can look at the people. And we can, if you want, like this is much bigger than I like. So you can adjust the different parts of the bars between the different parts of the program like that. This is my grandfather. And I took out all the living individuals in this tree, so if you're related to me, you're safe. But anyways, so, so anyways, here's the home person. If you want to uh, select a certain person, you could either track it down this way like uh, that or you can type in a search and that gets me back to the home person or I could go to the home button and get to the same person so that's basically how you set up or how you go through the uh, people and select which person you want as you can see and then relationships this is my grandfather's relationships my grandmother um, an aunt who died um, his parents and this is how I usually enter people uh, through the relationships, but there's more than one way to do things in this program, and I just find it easier if I wanted to add Go through the different people. I could just click the height the bold and underlined names and that will Bring me to somebody else if I want to add a new set of parents then It's that button if I want to edit where is it? There it is. 
and there's uh, adding a person or as a child or you could do it over here and that's pretty much the relationship screen if I want to add more children for Thomas Mackey and Ellen Greer then I would do it down here if I want to add a sibling to Thomas Mackey I would do it here and this information is from a uh, Mackey genealogy book um, I could actually show and go into citations and look at the different citations I used if I wanted to or I could add it over here once again that's it's very customizable and then it has different families I don't use this part very much but some people do I guess and then there's charts and once again I want to expand the screen. So this is the chart for uh, these people. And that's how you would navigate it. If you want to go into the James family, you go down over here. If you want to go further down here, it's fairly easy to navigate. Now for the events, it has all the events listed. If you want to share an event or uh, look at something, this, I don't use this screen very much. Places, these are the places I've inputted. I could go into whichever state I could. If you have, if you double click on one of these, it gives you the option of adding uh, the GPS coordinates. Nice thing about the GPS coordinates is uh, the next screen, geography. If you have the GPS or coordinates installed, then it shows up on a map. And so if I want to go to all the places that my grandfather lived in, there he is, he's selected, then I go into geography, it goes into, he was born here in Idaho, and then they moved back to Utah for a while, then he moved out, actually he lived all over the place, he was, uh, uh, but he wound up in California for a while and he died there. So that's the geography tab and you, it changes for depending on the person that you go into. Sources. These are my various sources. Please if you're going to share your, doc, your uh, genealogy please be detailed. Please. The citations, repositories, this is all, yeah, the media tab, and I could, uh, I, I select, uh, or I download parish register information and stuff, and census information, and so and attach them to sources so that I uh, know where I got the information. A notes tab, you can look at all the notes that uh, various people, uh, about various people that you've put in. I like to put lots of notes in. And so if we go back into, let's go into Hiram Mackey. You can either double click him to uh, edit him, or you can 
go into relationships and then do the edit personal there once again there's multiple ways to do things and here's the information that I put in for him and let's look at how do I know that he died of chronic nephritis I don't know what that is but uh, that's what he died of I don't know so some heart problem and chronic nephritis so I have death certificate and I have his obituary and source citations so I have the 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 book that uh, I was following and then I verified everything that I could in the book with with uh, this stuff with the source citations and so you can put source citations for where you get the uh, image from I recommend doing that so you know where you got it and it's not just some random image that uh, you don't remember where you got from 10 years later which has happened to me but uh, anyways if you want to zoom in then you can this is known right here so it's going to be a little different than yours um, you could go into the notes I like to document how somebody is connected and how I know they're connected to their parents because I've gone back on my old genealogies and not knowing how I came to those conclusions so I highly recommend documenting why you think they are connected what evidence you use and you can reference source citations gallery that's from family search I have uh, that's the generations back from me you don't have to do that of course that's there's various attributes and for the uh, you put in a lot of different information and in attributes or you can put in information in notes events there's a lot of different things that uh, you could add in about these uh, ancestors of yours and you can either um, select what they have there or you could type in and then select it so there's it's highly customizable perhaps it's a good program and uh, if you don't like the way it is right now there are ways to modify what it shows there are add-ons that you can uh, add to it if you go into the preferences you can uh, check for add-ons and there's it's just various customizations like the grants view is a different chart that you could put in or you could uh, do a lot of other uh, things a lot most of this I haven't tried so that's a basic overview of importing a file into Gramps and modifying it a little bit, looking over. Thank you. Bye.